Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to make a vehicle wheel with suspension. So I made this really simple vehicle with four wheels and let's see how it works. So as you can see, suspension works and when it goes over the obstacles, the wheels move but the body doesn't move um, that much. So this is why you, we use suspension on a car so we don't feel the imperfections of the uh, ground so this is going to be surprisingly easy to do we'll just do a wheel and then copy it and do the others so we can have something to test with so let's go ahead and create an actor so I'll use a cube for the body. And a cylinder for the wheel. I'll name this wheel one because we're, we're going to have multiple wheels. We'll just rotate this 90 degrees like that. And scale it down. Like that. So before we move this, we're actually going to create the physics constraint. Uh, because we're going to be using physics constraint to hold it in place. So we're going to use two physics constraints. One is that it's going to act as a wheel axis. It's just going to rotate, uh, uh, let the wheel rotate around the y axis. This one, well, it's actually the global y-axis uh, because we rotate this one and the other one is gonna let it move up and down so with certain uh, rules and I'm gonna show you uh, afterwards how so let's create the first one and we'll call PC from physics component and we'll say wheel axis and the other one Let's see, PC, wheel, suspension, like that. And let's make the bodies simulate physics, both of them, okay. And then let's put the wheel in place. So we'll select all of them with the physics constraint together and we'll drag it somewhere here. If you would, if you want, you could make this put this beneath but we'll just put it on the side if you put it beneath just make sure that you activate the collision here disable collision for the physics constraint okay so let's just make this bigger like that and let's now configure the physics constraint so here we'll uh, connect them together so usually we would put the body first and then the wheel but I've uh, actually tried that and it gives a wobbly movement uh, to the wheel so here we'll actually have to do the other way around so we'll put wheel one here and body and here the same thing so as you can see both constraints connect to the two objects so we don't have uh, an intermediary object so let's just move this down a bit like this it looks more natural i put this to minus 60 on the x-axis okay so let's configure the physics constraints so how are they gonna work so uh, the each of the physics constraint will control one of the these two aspects the linear limits and the angular limits so the wheel axis is going to control the angular limits and the linear limits will actually put it free because they're going to be controlled by the other one so we'll leave them free because this one will limit them so they will act uh, uh, at the same time okay so here we'll lock everything except the rotation around the y-axis like this and we'll leave it to free because we want it to rotate around and here we'll just add 
we'll use target velocity of zero to add a friction. So this will act as a like a rolling wheel friction on the axis. Okay, so we'll leave that to one for now. So the wheel suspension is gonna be the other way around. So this, the angular limits will leave free because they're limited by the wheel axis. And this will actually leave it moving only on the Z axis. So let's see. Uh, we put this limited to, let's say, 30 centimeters. Yeah, so it's not that one, it's the Z, sorry, it's the Z one. So as you can see, it can move up to here, but well, actually we'll move, put this to 20, a little bit smaller. So even if they're really, really great forces that act upon the vehicle, the wheel would not move more than something up here. So this is good because otherwise we can have a wheel that wobbles really, really uh, uncontrollably. So again, this is free. So now let's and so this is very important for the suspension we've got two elements one is the spring uh, as you have in a car one is a spring and the other one is a damper the spring is gonna be uh, made with the target orientation and the damper with the target velocity so let's add uh, sorry this is angular uh, motor but we'll use a linear motor so position target and velocity target okay so we'll limit on the z-axis here and here we'll say something like uh, 1000 or 2000 for now and here we'll put this at 50. <clears throat> so again this acts as a force that tries to keep the the wheel in place as in relative to the body and this one acts as a damper because it will limit the range the the speed of the wheel as it tries to get to stay in place okay so we can already try it like this so this is basically the wheel you it's really that simple okay so just to test it out really quickly now we're gonna limit the rotation of this so it doesn't fall down okay so we'll just lock rotation on the x and on the y so it only rotates in the horizontal plane like this so let's drag it in okay so as you can see it it does act as it should and if we push it around it actually rotates the wheel and it moves it moves weird because there is only one wheel so let's add the four wheels so we can have a complete vehicle a basic vehicle but complete one nonetheless okay so we just duplicate these three so we're gonna rename them this is gonna be wheel 2 wheel axis which is this one 2 and suspension 2 and this is actually 1 just so we know um, I've tried to doing this with the actor components and with child actors and I haven't succeeded until now it's not that simple I if I manage to do that so we don't have to copy this we'll just use one component well I'll make a video about that but for now we'll just do it like this so the only thing we can we have to change here are the names that's the only thing here. We'll put wheel two. And then we'll move it in place. So this is at minus 60 on the X. We'll move this at plus 60. So it's uh, symmetrical. Okay. So again, we'll copy this. We'll duplicate it actually. Again, rename it like this. Three. This is tedious, but it's just going to take a few seconds more. Again, duplicate. 
and the last one wheel four actually we'll move the the wheel as the words but let's just copy these it's four here like that and we're just gonna modify this one here four now let's move them in place so the wheel three We'll take it and on the Y axis we have 60. So let's move it to minus 60 like that. And this one, it's going to be also minus 60 like that and minus 60 on the X. So now we have four wheels that should work nicely. Let's try it out. So they do. Now let's put it on the ramp. Let's get rid of this. We'll rotate it like this. 90 degrees. Put it on here. Just make sure that wheels will collide with the obstacle. So let's Yeah, so as you can see, there's a weird thing that's going on. This is kind of, it doesn't stay at a normal angle. That's because we forgot to disable the lock rotation here of the body. So now it should, yeah, so it's parallel to the plane now. And it will actually act normally as it should. Yeah, we can see that. So now if we want to adjust uh, the different aspects, we just select them, all of them, and change them at the same time. So we have selected all the suspensions. So we go here and to, where is it? Here. So let's say, take this lower. So see what happens. So, and uh, I think, I'll put this lower too. So it's going to be more bouncy as we get this lower and it's going to be weaker as we get this one lower. So it should feel the, 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 the earth less. So as you can see, the body is not that much affected by the earth. So of course you can take this and play around with it, see what works for you. Uh, the only thing I would say here is that y you should try to have, uh, let's see the body here, mass. Yeah, so the, the body, you could put uh, normal uh, weights for the body. Like let's say a car is one ton, so it will be 1000 kilos here. And the wheels would be something like maybe 20 kilos or something. But just don't go too low, they don't have too much of a difference between these because then you will have a weird uh, uh, we can see already that's because I've as I've explained in another uh, other videos the force that the physics constraint is acting with actually gets scaled by the mass of the two objects the uh, yes, so as you can see here, it's actually unstable. It actually goes, the body goes to the limit of what we set for the suspension here. It's because we set a limit. Where is it? Uh, here. So it actually goes down because the, the resistance that is, uh, that is imposed by the wheel is actually scaled by its mass. So the part of the physics constraint that it's acting with the wheel is actually scaled by its mass and relative to its body is actually low. So uh, yeah, you shouldn't have a big difference. So I put I would put this. Unfortunately, yeah, sometimes we have to cheat. It's not like one-on-one -on -one with the real world. So we'll put this to 50 or something like that. 
so it should look more natural already so as you can see now actually because the mass the, this mass is really high it does exert more resistance so now the wheels move more but the the body is actually staying in place when it goes over these obstacles so look again the body is actually uh, almost not moving at all so if you want it to be more stiff just go to the suspension and, put, and get this a little higher like this and now it's the suspension is stiffer but it still doesn't transmit the movements uh, the ground the imperfections of the ground to the body so there's also a thing that uh, the only thing I wanted to show you is that sometimes when it moves and it gets to a really slow speed sometimes it um, keeps on rolling as you can see here and that's because the wheels are actually colliding with the ground and they are constantly they are penetrating the ground a little bit and they are constantly thrown up just a little bit so that generates a speed as you can see here because it shouldn't do that as you can see it, it kind of wobbles a little bit that's exactly what i was describing so in order to uh, prevent that you can either put some more friction in the wheel axis here so let's see you put this to five or something like that this all depends you have to experiment this with the mass because the mass the, if the mass is greater this will have lower uh, effect on the movement so if you have a really low mass, let's say this is like uh, one kilo or something, the body, you wouldn't want to put the friction to five there because it's going to be too great. So as you can see, it struggles to, yeah, so it does stop, yeah. So work with this and there's also one last thing here for the body and for the wheels when they so there's this thing uh they when they uh, start moving really really slow when we moving really really slow the objects eventually go to sleep so that means they are actually stop colliding and well they do collide with all but they their their position and rotation are not calculated anymore so this is done with the sleep family here so uh, in order to make them to have a lower friction there and but still make it stop you have to put this to custom here and then play around with this get this higher so as you get this higher let's for for example five that means that even if it's moving a little bit fast it's gonna go to sleep eventually but i'm not describing this perfectly but the idea is that <coughs> there's a threshold for going to sleep or the speed of the elements when they go to sleep so eventually so let's look at this so now they went to sleep so the trash the speed threshold at that movement when they go to sp the sleep is this one so if you get this higher it will go to sleep much easier so yeah that's kind of it so i hope this had been useful and if it was please like uh, share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video